And, and what were the best resources here at UVA to help you do that? Uh, like, were there, I don't know. No, there were, I mean, I'm sure they were there. I'm absolutely sure they were there. We connected with the EGM and McIntyre, and I think they were really helpful. Mm -hmm. um, but it's so exponential. Like, what we had, we had nothing compared to what you have now. Like, Hack Seville, oh yeah. my God. Can we give it up for Hack Seville? I was there with uh, How blown away are you by Hack Seville? Um, again, this, that is the core of what makes me so jealous because it is, it is the exact thing that a university needs to have those, like, just have those conversations mm -hmm. that gets founders going on those mm -hmm. ideas. And I'll tell you, I've seen a couple since at, at various schools, I think probably following Hack Seville's lead. Mm -hmm. um, but I was literally just talking it up to uh, President Sullivan like an hour and a half ago saying like this is exactly and it's and it's kind of like the pirates to the navy yeah. that's how i think about it like the university is the navy and it has a ton of resources a ton of amazing people but like it's important to have these these pirate outposts and i'm not like talking about anything Bacon. illegal you're talking about like the the semi-legal pirates from the, the english in the 1600s i was i was not that good of an in history no, <laughs> Sort of, you know, they sort of authorize them to raid other ships. Oh, geez. Okay, no. Well, <laughs> this is going to be quoted out of context. No, I, I, the more like the jobs, like why would you be in the navy when yeah. you could be a pirate? Yeah. Um, and and actually, uh, what is what is so wild is you start to see how much students can self-organize and like get shit done, and and I hope it spreads. <laughs>